I had a conversation today. that ended in someone telling me that I don't know how stressed out they are. And the stuff that I tell people to do on my channel <clears throat> are easier said than done. And maybe I was insensitive to the person. And I told them, no shit, Sherlock. Everything's easier said than done. And the subject matter was, why have you been late to three stops in 30 days? And I have these mentorshipy conversations in my Patreon all the time. A person will see I have a Patreon, they'll sign up. And then come to find out, you know, it's a rookie. And instead of just taking the advice, they like to tell me how they have a new way that trucking is done. And I laugh at them. And I explain to them, this is just numbers. You can interpretate all you want, but it's numbers. The numbers are what the numbers are. He said, I've ran into some traffic issues. Oh, yeah, my truck broke down once and I popped a tire. Listen carefully. For the new drivers coming in, I want you to hear what I have to say. That's poppycock. It's gobbledygook. It's not true. So now we have to have a sleeper video because the other sleeper conversations are buried in so much live feed that they're not getting them. So that's what we're going to do today. Simple conversation. I asked, when are you going to sleep? Oh, you know, I like to go to sleep around 10. And wrong. Wrong answer. That's the wrong answer. That's, that's not what I'm asking. If you are driving OTR, which you are, and you are going place to place through time zones and everything like that, you telling me, a specific time when you fall asleep is incorrect because you don't have a specific time when you fall asleep. You are on a variable sleep schedule, you don't, which means you don't have a sleep schedule. So telling me when you like to go to sleep is stupid because no one cares when you like to go to sleep. What dictates when you go to sleep is when the drive shift ended. It's that simple. Now, I'm not going to break this down in trucker pro terms because when you get to the real veterans and the trucker pros, they only sleep about five, six hours a night. So I can't tell you, you stay up four hours. No, you can't. Apparently you can't because you're ending up late. So if you're telling me you need a full 10 hours to sleep, that means you will be driving and when you stop, you will be falling straight to sleep. Just straight to sleep. Because you need that full 10 and you only have 10 hours in the sleeper. And what you are doing, since you refuse to give me your time clock, what you are doing is you're stopping, you're chilling for four hours. And then when you fall, then when you're ready to go to bed, you're calling that 10 hours and it's not. So we'll do what we always do. Give me your time clock. And what do they always say? How do I do that? That tells me what? That tells me you don't know what you're doing. You don't know how to use the call com or the, the Momni tracks that you have. You don't know how to use your device. That means you got in the truck and you didn't study the device that you have. You didn't study the keep trucking or whatever your call com or your uh, onboard computer is. You didn't study it. You're supposed to know. It's impossible to me that you don't know how to send me 
your logs when you kind of got to know that when you get inspected. You're supposed to know that. Matter of fact, they can give you a ticket for it. Matter of fact, you're supposed to have an arm's reach, a card that shows you how to do it. So the next question is simple. Where's the card that shows you how to send your logs? Oh, where would that be? And eh, wrong. 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 That's wrong. <laughs> you can't do that when the cop pulls you over or when you're going through inspection. You're supposed to have that card. Why don't you have it? I mean, they did. Who's they? The company didn't tell me. They told you, bro. They told you. They told you. You didn't, you, you sat through orientation and didn't pay attention. All right. It's cool. It's simple. It's not a big deal. You probably don't, can't see it. You can get by with it being in your, in your, uh, permit book. Let's pull the permit book out. Oh. Uh, Bro, you know where your permit book is at. You know where your permit book is at, right? Yeah, yeah, I know where permit I'm getting to pull it. Oh, here's the card. All right, send it to me. Sends me the logs. <coughs> no exaggeration. S sleeper times. 17 hours. 13, 11, 15, 14, 13, 13. 13 is a reoccurring number that shows a habit. I look at it. He says, see, you can tell my drive shifts is tight. My drive shifts is tight. Yeah, your drive shifts is tight. And I'm here to tell you every single time you were late was your fault. Every time your check is bad is your fault. Your company is not a bad company. You, and I want you to take this in. Come closer. Don't do the drug dealer business. You suck. You suck at driving. It's not the pay scale that's not paying you. It's not the company that's not paying you. You are not paying you. Now I can hit you with a quick regimen to get you together because you on my Patreon. And I'm going to bag you up. But I feel like it will be useless. Why would it be useless? Because you're not the type of person that's going to listen to anything I tell you. And I'll be just spitting into the wind. And I'm old now. I'm 30, man. I don't like wasting my speed all, spit all willy-nilly. Wasting my breath. You're not going to listen. I know, TB, I respect you. Don't lie to me, bro. Because you don't respect me. You don't respect me. Because the real truth is, you would have all this together if you watched my show. Which means you don't watch my show. You watch my show, I'm not even going to say it in here. What's my sleeper rule? Comment it at the bottom. Yeah. How many times should you be stopping for a random break during the day? What dictates your sleep time? They're going to comment all that at the bottom. They already know it because they watch my show and we discuss it at length. So you don't watch my show and you don't respect me. So don't. Don't insult my intelligence. What we can do is try to help you anyway, because I'm a good guy. Forget about it. I'm a nice guy. So let's talk about it. This is what you're going to do. You are going to go inside of the truck stop. I'm about to give you a million dollars worth of, of, I hate to say a million dollars worth of game. Shout out, Gilly. A million dollars worth of game right now. You are not a person that can get up on his own accord. You're not a responsible person. You're not a responsible adult. Well, to me, I, think, I don't think you're an adult. You're not a responsible adult. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to go to your truck stop. And you're going to go inside and get a Screaming Eagle, Screaming Meanie. Sometimes they're named different things. It is a alarm that's about, it's about this big, a little bit thinner. And this alarm is just a timer. It's not a clock. He goes inside and gets it. I said, set it to two minutes. Two minutes go by. And it screams. Oh my God, this thing hurts my ears. And that is the point. That's the point. When you stop your truck, 
you do your 15 minute break or you do your post trip or however you do it. When it's time for you to go into, when it's time for the truck to stop and you go put yourself into the sleeper, you put this to nine minutes, not I me, mean nine hours. I thought it was 10 hours in the sleeper. You're talking and not listening. Nine hours. Why nine hours? I'll tell you. Nine hours is because you have to get up, shish, shah, shave. You got to make sure your truck is in order. You got to brush your teeth. You got to walk around the truck stop like a zombie and get coffee. You got to do all that. And I'm giving you an hour to do so. Nine hours is what you set this timer to. Every truck stop has this timer for you to wake up. So you have no excuse. Any pilot, any loves, and especially TA. You're going to do this for 30 days straight. Oh, well, I go home. Well, you don't go home anymore. You don't have no girlfriend. You don't have no kids. So you're not going home this month because you failed. What dictates when you get to go home? I'll wait for the commenters. You don't choose when you go home. That's another bullshit lie. Now, that's if you're doing this to make money. Now, if you just, I'm going to live my life the way I want to, you're a piece of shit, and I shouldn't be talking to you. But if we're talking to you straight directly, and you're here to make cash, you're here to make money, you're here to build a life, you're here to do all that stuff you're talking about, you don't dictate when you go home. Your bank account dictates when you go home. And right now, you're complaining to me about money, which means your bank account ain't saying that. So reset, you're about to do another 30 days. Do you understand? Yeah, I get it. Yep, 30 days. So next 30 days, you're going to live and die by this nine-hour timer. Every night, as soon as that shit joint, as soon as you put yourself in the sleeper, nine hours on the thing. When you get up, you're going to use your time wisely. You're going to get up. You're going to brush your teeth. You're going to make sure your truck is right. And here's something that you think that doesn't matter, but it does. You're going to make your bed. You're going to make sure your floor is decently clean. You're going to walk inside. You're going to uh, freaking uh, either take your shower if that's what you do in the morning, get your coffee, come back. You're going to actually properly pre-trip the vehicle. And by that time, you're going to have about 10 minutes left into the 10-hour sleeper. In that 10 minutes, you're going to look ahead on your GPS to make sure everything's good. Go to Google, type in where you're going, make sure there's no traffic, accidents, or whatever's going on like that. Set your freaking um, hickama jig up and plan your day out for that 10 minutes. It shouldn't take you no longer than 10 minutes. Now your day's planned out. You'll sit there, throw in one of Chuck Brown uh, Live or something like that, and you'll start your freaking day. That's all I'm going to leave you with in this part. Do that for 30 days. Then come to me and tell me what changed about your check, what changed about your outlook on your career, and then you can come to me and say, TV, I respect you. But until then, if you're out here doing bullshit, don't tell me you respect me because it offends me. Don't do drugs. Be happy. We're here to get you together. We're not playing any games.